Hi everybody, I'm Angie. We're going to be graphing today with y equals mx plus b, which is our slope intercept form. This is so nice to graph with because we've got all the information we need, starting with m, the number multiplied by the x. This is our slope or our rise over run. And then that number b on the end is our y intercept. So let's go ahead and get started with y equals 2x minus 1. Now I'm going to start with b, with that negative 1 on the end. And I think of b as my beginning place. So I want to plot that negative 1 on the y axis. That's my y intercept. So here it is negative 1 on the y-axis. Next I need that slope and my slope is 2 but I really need rise over run so I'm going to think of that as a 2 over 1. I'd like to think of m as my move. This is going to get me to another point so I can go ahead and graph that line. Now 2 is the change in the y direction, 1 is the change in the x direction. So from our y-intercept of negative 1 I need to move positive 2 in the y direction. So 1, 2 in the y direction and then positive 1 so 1 in the x direction and that lands me at a second point two points is all I need to define that line but you could certainly do this again right you could go positive 2 in the y positive 1 in the x and I'm on another point on that line let's go ahead and graph that line I don't need all three of these but here is my line infinitely many points on that so I'll go ahead and put double arrows on the ends here comes our next one. In this next one, I've got y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 3. I'm again going to start or begin with that value b. 3 is my y-intercept. So let's go ahead and plot 3 on the y-axis. And next, I need my slope or my move. My move this time is negative 2 over 3. Now that negative out in front, you can put in either place, either in the numerator or you can put it in the denominator, but it needs to belong with one. However you move, you're gonna be moving in the y and x direction along the same line. Let's do our first move with a negative two over three. So that's gonna be negative two in the y direction from my y-intercept, so that's a negative two. And then I'm gonna go positive three. So one, two, three in the x direction plus three. And there's another point. Now let's use the other form. So in the other form, I would still start with my y-intercept, but I'm going to move positive 2 in the y direction and then a negative 3 in the x direction. So negative 3 in the x direction, that gives me my second point. These all live on the same line, and I can go ahead and graph that line through all three of those points. Infinitely many solutions. So there you have it. You are doing so great. Next, we're going to take a look at converting from standard form or different forms of the equation into y equals mx plus b. Thanks for watching.